Americans for Fair Taxation presents the Weekly Chairman's Report, written by Steve Hayes, President of Americans for Fair Taxation, and recorded by Bob Paxton, a volunteer with the Florida Fair Tax Educational Association. And now, this week's Chairman's Report. Hello, I'm Bob Paxton with the AFFT Chairman's Report for Friday, June 9th, 2023. No money for retirement? Enact the fair tax. On May 8, 2023, a very disturbing article appeared in The Hill announcing that more than 40% of baby boomers are nearing retirement but have no retirement savings. Some of the points made in this article are that many Americans work for smaller companies that don't offer retirement plans. Many others are self-employed or live paycheck to paycheck. Fewer than half of working age Americans have any retirement savings, according to census data for 2020. Now, savings rates do rise with age, but only to a point. In the 55 to 64-year-old boomer age group, 58% of Americans own retirement accounts. A 65-year-old retiree can now expect to live 20 more years. The average monthly Social Security check is around $1,800, but the average household run by an over-65 American spends more than $4,000 a month. Workers should aim to save 10 times their annual salary by age 67, $375,000 for an individual, $708,000 for a household. Now, if the goal is to retire in relative comfort, then you'll need closer to $1.1 million. That's according to a survey by Schroeder's, an asset management company. To make ends meet, more Americans are working into their 70s. The share of people over 75 in the labor force is projected to reach 11% in 2026. That's up from 5% in 1996. Now, even with those added wage-earning years, census data shows that the poverty rate among seniors reached 10.3% in 2021. That's the highest percentage in two decades. The income payroll tax system is the culprit here. The present income payroll tax system punishes two things that should be rewarded, work and savings. The more you work, the more income tax you pay. And if you want to save, you first have to pay income tax on your earnings. You can then invest some of what's left over after withholding, but then you'll have to pay federal income tax on the return generated by your investment. For example, if a family wants to put $5,000 per year into an investment account, they will need to earn at least $6,250 to net that $5,000 to invest. Assuming a 6% return and a 20% federal tax rate, $5,000 a year for 20 years will yield $172,202 in savings. Now, when the income payroll tax is repealed and the fair tax is enacted, that family will be able to invest the entire $6,250 each year. Assuming the same 6% return, but with no federal income tax bite, the family will have $246,912 in savings after 20 years. That means that this family can save over $74,000 more under the fair tax than under the income tax. In conclusion, unfortunately, many people in D.C. will see the frightening numbers of people without retirement savings not as a crisis, but as a good thing. That's because the D.C. elites want as many people as possible to be dependent on government payments for their survival. People who derive their sustenance from the government are much easier to control than those who can fend for themselves. Now, of course, the elites generally have well-funded government pensions, and many are making substantial sums by obtaining government subsidies for special interests who pay them very handsomely for their work. They believe that people's inability to save for their own retirement is not the result of D.C. stacking the system against them. Instead, they see that as further evidence that most Americans need the D.C. elite group to take care of them. Now, This arrogance that ordinary people can't survive without them fuels their feelings of intellectual superiority, and it also causes them to distrust and oppose anything that will enable people to take better care of themselves. This is one of the main reasons that many in D.C. oppose the fair tax. It would transfer a considerable amount of power from the government to the people, while at the same time giving the people a better chance of succeeding on their own. Isn't it time to end this ludicrous tax collection system and the IRS? 
When the fair tax is enacted, there will be no need to fear being audited by the IRS because there will be no more IRS. Under the fair tax, there will be no more tax returns. We'll pay our taxes when we make retail purchases of new goods and services. Now, there's going to be a vote on the fair tax in the House of Representatives. Speaker McCarthy and the other elites didn't want it, but it was forced on them. So we now have the opportunity to force all members of the House to show where they stand. They can vote for the present income payroll tax system, or they can vote for the fair tax. They can support the corrupt income tax in the IRS or vote to eliminate it. It can't be any simpler than that. They can hide the true cost of government, or they can pass the fair tax and show everyone the true cost of government on every retail receipt. And finally, they can support the largest transfer of power from the government to the people, the fair tax, or they can vote against it. Now, if members think the fair tax needs to be changed, then they can propose that change. Don't let them get away with rejecting the entire bill because it has a flaw that can be easily addressed. Please stand with us and demand that your representatives support a much fairer, much simpler, and much more efficient way to fund the government, the fair tax. Now, the fair tax doesn't pick winners and losers. Because it taxes spending, not earnings, the fair tax lets everyone save for their retirement tax-free. The fair tax collects the revenue the federal government needs to operate, but does it in a way that has the least adverse impact on our individual freedom and the least impact on our economic prosperity. With the fair tax, there are no tax returns to file, no records to keep. We'll pay our federal taxes when we make retail purchases of new goods and services. And with the fair tax, there is no need for the IRS. If you sell a used couch or a used jet ski online, there's no fair tax due on that transaction. The fair tax will allow us to take back control. The income payroll tax system is broken. It's no longer working. We can't repair it, but we can replace it with the fair tax. Join us and take back control of our country and our lives, not with bullets, but with the elimination of one of the biggest threats to our liberty and economic prosperity, the income payroll tax. We should all remember Edmund Burke's warning that applies to our efforts to take back control. Nobody made a greater mistake than he who did nothing because he could only do a little. We should also remember this quote from George Orwell's 1984, which, if we do nothing, may foretell your and your children's future. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. So what can each of us do? We can write letters and make calls to our elected representatives and attend Zoom town hall meetings demanding that if they really want to allow Americans to take back control, the first step is to eliminate the income payroll tax system and enact the fair tax. Take back control. Help us pass the fair tax. Help us bring about real tax reform and stop future IRS abuses. By contributing or actually investing $10.40 a month, you help provide a financial base to Americans for fair taxation. Now, if you can make larger contributions slash investments, these will be used not for salaries as we're all volunteers, but for the needed updates to our economic studies, which will be vital for all future years. Please go to fairtax.org and invest in Americans for fair taxation. It's an investment in your and your family's future. This has been the Weekly Chairman's Report, written by Steve Hayes, President of Americans for Fair Taxation. Check back every week for news and information about the fair tax and learn why the fair tax should replace our antiquated federal income tax system. If you'd like to receive a copy of the Chairman's Report in your inbox every week, sign up at fairtax.org. 